In his autobiography, Keith Richards uh, said that on one occasion, he had uh, mixed his father's cremated ashes with some cocaine and snorted it up. Uh, so that inspired my last request. Please snort up my ashes, Keith Richards. The way you did with your dad. When cut with a pinch of Peruvian snow, I know I would not be half bad. <laughs> Let's party, you rock star, you devil, with the dust of my mortal remains. Chase me with a spike of whatever you like until you too are feeling no pain. <laughs> so 30 years after getting an MFA in poetry, uh, I had my first collection published. I write very slowly, um, and many years before that, um, I, as a young man, I uh, spent a summer with the uh, U.S. Forest Service fighting fire, and it was a religious experience. Uh, the title of the work, by the way, is Cosmology of Heaven and Hell, so you get you know, some idea of the themes. This is called Fire Season. That summer, I quit my flatland job and gave away my books and bed for a pilgrimage to the Sierra. Novitiate in a blackened order, marching up mountains through blizzards of ash, ablaze with acolyte zeal, tempered and fed by the ache and sweat of Pulaski axe and shovel raking ash dune hotspots, emptying piss pumps on the glowing heart of charred stumps, while air tankers bombed the ridge top with pink clouds of retardant and cliff-hugging choppers dropped a winter's worth of water in monsoon bucket loads. Fires got smoke eater nicknames, elephant fire for its pachyderm boulders, happy fire for flames that lay down like lovers weather maker that blotted out the sun. Autumn doused me, rolled me wholly, down slope into a vehicle behind miles of taillights, crawling into the veracity where I traded rigorous peaks of creed for easy apostasy. From bracing the sky, my giants fell to human conflagration, unchurched from my green cathedral, my foot strayed outside the black. I wait for devotion's spark, for ponderosas crowned with tongues of flame to preach me again their right. <laughs> but uh, fire season has changed considerably. Fire season is now um, all year round. And so I wrote this a couple of years ago. October Augury. Roused from sleep by buffeting winds, I shuffle in darkness to gaze out at Orion, locked in pursuit, ascendant now on the eve of the hunter's moon, as Diablo winds gust from parched land, scattering withered gatherings with summer's last scorching gasp threatening fire before succumbing to winter's bludgeon. Already my dream, an old woman outside my door, sweeping dead leaves and laughing, skitters away, elusive as an autumn hare, or the wind's almost intelligible clamor. Can the hunter see the seasons shifting in unfamiliar ways? Will he quit the game? The news today proclaimed three billion birds vanished from the skies, sparrows, blackbirds, warblers, and more. Since I was a young man, a span laughably short set against the migrations of Beetlejuice and Rigel. Despite stark witness, we remain steadfast in past imaginings, starry-eyed abandoned, deaf and dumb to all discourse that might call those passerine spirits back. The street lamp casts long shadows of writhing branches on the wall, transmuted by despair into supplicants, beseeching forbearance from 
the fire sure to come. Thank you. Wow.